we need to see is inflation coming down. Bringing inflation down should be our number one priority. In the process of going into a recession, they killed this great job market. When we talk about inflation, a few things automatically spring to mind. Gas prices, airfare, and mortgage rates. We're already starting to see an impact on the marketplace. Mortgage rates are hovering around 6%. We're seeing what was a red hot housing market start to show signs of cooling. But something that's less talked about in terms of how an impending recession slash inflation could impact the real estate industry are ground leases. Ground leases are usually pretty fertile ground for disputes, especially in terms of how rent increases are calculated. But in a down market, we can expect to see more of these disputes in the coming months and years. Uh, Rich, you recently wrote about E.B. Rosen losing control of yet another property, the Gramercy Park Hotel. Uh, can you tell us what happened there? Uh, yeah, so a judge recently ejected A.B. from his lease at the Gramercy. It's this uh, glamorous storied famed hotel. Uh, after he defaulted on the lease, uh, which he had had for about 20 years with the Goldman family. And uh, the Goldmans are some of the uh, biggest ground lessers across the city. Uh, the hotel has been closed since the start of the pandemic, but his troubles actually go back before it. Um, according to the lawsuit, he approached the Goldmans in 2019. The hotel market was already struggling at the time, and he went to them and he said, look, I need to renegotiate the terms of this lease, otherwise uh, my investment here is worthless. Typically, how does the market affect ground lease, lease activity? You know, I see investors show a lot more interest when um, property prices are rising very quickly. Uh, ground leases are often a more economical way to get into an investment. Um, you know, the flip side there is that uh, when property prices come down, their value proposition uh, seems a little bit less attractive. And I think sort of spinning that forward, you know, if we do see a recession, if we do see some real pain in the market, um, these agreements are often <clears throat> operating on real tight margins. Uh, and as we've seen, there's a lot of potential for distress here, which uh, might cre create some buying opportunities. How are you seeing the structures change now? Yeah, I mean, I think we started to hear about tenants and owners revisiting how rent re resets are structured. So traditionally, ground lease resets occur every 20 to 30 years, and they're based on the fair market value of the property. So the value of the property, if it was not developed. Um, even pre-recession, there had been some movement away from that model, but um, now owners and tenants are starting to look at other models like gross revenue, which presents its own problems when you're talking about retail and office properties that may or may not be losing value during a down market. Um, there's also some movement toward more incremental um, increases based on consumer price index, um, which also presents a problem when you have, you know, bonkers inflation. Um, sort of a way around that is to set sort of, um, you know, either have a few years where there is no cap on CPI, uh, followed by a cap, and then perhaps, you know, setting a shorter window for these rent resets. Um, but still very early stages at this point. Um, these things tend to change very slowly. So I think it's probably still too early to tell how the current market conditions are going to impact these negotiations. But in the meantime, we can watch to see what other disputes come about.